This is the start of the podcast. <laughs> Welcome. We're doing a great job so far. Nailing it. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm John Hill here with Mark McNamara. This is Discretion Advised, Season 2, Episode 3. Or is, is it, it three? It's four. Yeah, it's four. <laughs> I'm, I've Listen. liked and subscribed. <laughs> Hi, Mark. I love your sweater. I love your face. How's it going? Good work. Uh, it's brand new. Um, it's going okay. <laughs> you know, I was I had a death in the family. I was at a funeral. Thank you so much for the flowers. They are... I don't even know. It's been a rough adjustment, to be honest. But I, I feel like staying on routine, staying on schedule, going to work, showing up for these things is important, even though I would rather... <laughs> I would rather like take a year off and mourn. It's also like you got to keep doing your shit anyway. So bear with me this episode. I may one one thing I'm finding is I kind of am suffering from apathy. Like I could give a shit really about like saying anything cute or funny or like I got nothing, you know. So this episode just like, you know not what? that I I'll ever have out. anything good or funny to say. <laughs> you are you're the star, babes. You are you are, and thank you for being here. I will pick it up. I have a lot to say. I'm super excited about Hannah and Sean. I'm a big Below Deck fan. I'm Who's Hannah and Sean? Dick just fan. None of your everyone. business. Just keep, you just sit tight and just, you just go ahead and sit back and watch. It, below Deck Med, Hannah was the chief stew for the first five seasons. Sean Xavier is a world-renowned giant dick porn star who has a personality to match. But I, um, I am grateful to see you and to be here. And I think one thing I'm going to have, I'm going to have us do is, um... Uh, we're going to have Cameron pull up some slack because I've been, I was, you know, otherwise engaged, grieving and mourning. So, so Cameron, you're going to come on the pod later in the show and you know, you're going to interact with us. So I, so it's not all just heavy lifting on our part. Interact with us, babe. He's given us a thumbs interact. up. Oh, okay. That's more than a thumb. Wow. Yikes. Woo. All right. Well, I'm going to pull up the notes for today and let's just, Great. Get, let's just like carry on. I also want to say well, like, I, I know hold on. we say this and stuff, but like uh, all the time, Whoever's listening, we want more voice memos, voice notes on DMs and stuff, because we want to hear from you. I just want to make that known again. Keep them coming. Even if we don't specifically say there's a certain topic, like we want to hear more from you guys. Noted. Noted. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I'll leave you. You know what? You know what message I'm done receiving is hi. Ever since I said that on the podcast, everyone text me hi. Everyone text me hey. I get it. Enough. But don't you, <laughs> you like hearing from John me? Hill. I like nope. saying it. Mm -hmm. I, nope. Because sometimes all I want to <laughs> say is like, hi, I'm thinking of you. That's it. I don't need you to say like, what do you need? But I just want to be like, hey. And so you be like. And what do I say back? Just heart it. Not even, You don't have to say anything back. But that would be a disingenuous heart. I don't love it. Then don't do anything. Just let me. It's more for me to say like, I love you. I'm thinking of you. Then be like, roll your eyes. So it's just like, it's like getting a facial. It's, it's, it's a one party deal. Like the other one probably likes it more than the, the one receiving it. Like a sexual or, facial? Unless it's you. Speaking of facials, The Sword's first mission is coming out on Wednesday, January 18th, and we're doing a little sweepstakes. So again, speaking of hearing from you, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark McNamara. That's M-A-C. I had to spell this out so I can read it. M-A-C-N-A-M-A-R-A. -A -A. Um, I'm going to be having a little, some questions posted there. Whoever gets it right, we're going to be sending out some sword swag, some stuff from the set, some stuff branding that we have. Um... So that's coming out this Wednesday. The snowmobile? Be coming out. No, nope, that's the Swords one. This is the Swords first mission, which is the third in the series. This one was shot in Paris. Are you going to say the Manzarote. first mission is the third in the series with the numeric? Well, it is their first mission. The first one, they had to be recruited. The second one, they went through evaluations. And now they've been given their first mission on the third one. Are you following? Yes. No, I, I literally okay. am following the story. I gave a fucking book report on it last week. Great. Well, then I can't wait you for to. I can't wait for you to watch the third installment. Your pussy's gonna be popping off. Um, is it the same characters? I guess it's their first mission. Yeah. So we do the characters' first mission. Who this is is Andre Donovan, who was in the first one. Um, he uh -huh. had sex with Michael Boston in the first one. This is his mission. So he is the one character that's carried over from the first one. That he'll be joined alongside Cade Maddox, Josh Moore, Logan Moore, uh, Dean Young, Paul Prince, Sean Austin. Who am I missing? Paul um, Prince. Paul Prince. Hey, he's been on this podcast. You've had a conversation with him. I know, and and the other one you just said was also on the show. Who was it? The, Kate has been on the show. No, the Dean Irish was one was on the show. Dean Young. 
Yeah, he's so nice. Yeah. They were all on the episode, the Eiffel Tower episode from season one, while we were filming this movie in Paris. That's right. Dean was so sweet. Yeah. We DM'd a little bit. Not in that way. Mm, no. We have a new Bo Butler for season two. Is Dean Young? <laughs> no. Um, but yes. he's so nice. <laughs> um, hey, wait. Speaking of, you were in Las Vegas for the Gay VNs. I was, was I just got back last night. I was in Vegas for the Gabians and then I went on a ski trip directly getting back. So I just now got back. That's why I look tired as shit. If anybody's watching this, I think you look great. Um, the Gabians were fun. They're great. Can I say what I, okay. First off, let me say the good news. I'm so happy for Tony. I really wanted Ride or Die to win Best Picture, and it did. So congratulations to Tony and everyone involved in that movie. Congratulations to Boomer and Max and Steve for the men's briefs winning, uh, Cole winning Best Actor, Max winning Best uh, Supporting Actor, Roman winning Best uh, Performer of the Year. Slay. Um, all right. And what are the highlights outside of the awards show? Did you guys like go gambling? Did you get married at a... Uh thing yeah elvis mm -hmm. thing all that here's the thing we were shooting in vegas so i nonstop. we got there on the first late at night and we filmed the second two on the third one on the fourth one on the fifth the awards that night and then we hightailed it out of there you're so a workaholic was, we were nonstop working and then we got trapped in minneapolis for the night because, i saw that i'm so sorry that sucks ugh, 23 degrees below zero it was so cold i had no longer have nipples they just ding popped mm. right off it was so terrible, but but you know what? Should we do Saudi toppies? I can't really um, tell. Yeah. No, you want to talk about some more stuff? Let's go. Well, you know, because Drag Race just premiered, so I feel like I want to mm. touch on that for a second. Drag Race premiered, and here's my problem with Drag Race, is that if you say an opinion, all the drag queen and the drag queen community is like, oh, well, how long have you done drag? How can you say something? Like, fuck off. We are all entertainers. We come to the to the entertainment industry to entertain that we sign up to be ridiculed do you think that i don't get opinions about directing porn not many porn directors but everyone has their opinion on anything that we put out there and that's fine i accept it i love the criticism good or bad and the drag queen you got to calm down you got to be able to people have got to be able to have their opinions on drag queens performances without being drag queens like it's just that that's what bothers me I don't think the person who went home first should have went home. The whole glass of water thing was so stupid and not funny, but I feel like she had more in her to show. So I was ready and excited for that. Um, I'm going to watch, actually just downloaded Paramount Plus, and I'm going to invest in this season so that we can talk about it, so that we can give more, so that more people who aren't drag queens can give more opinions. You need one more, that being me. Yeah, we need, we, you know what? We need the gay white opinion. More. Cameron, are you asleep? That's what we need. <laughs> Cameron's oh. not even here. Cameron left. Cameron's so checked out. Um, I apathetic. think he's apathetic. I get to be. What's your excuse? Um, I would like to maybe let's collaborate on an actual porn movie. Like I would like to do more within Falcon Naked Sword than just like talk about White Castle bringing back the Valentine's Day dinner this year. You know, why don't we collab? Like, why don't you and I collab on a film? We'll write one. We'll direct one. I'll say a couple of lines. I'm ready for that. Okay. Let's let's talk offline and we'll okay, get that, great. We'll I'm get excited. that going. What kind of porn would you like to see from me and Mark? Not us fucking. Why not? We gotta have a little bit of that. I'd fuck you if we didn't have to show anything. <laughs> like don't have to show what? Like no nudity. All right. Uh, we're getting we, the finger from Cam. Oh yeah, Cameron doesn't like to talk about that. All right. Thought topics. Here we go. Like I said, White Castle is bringing back the Valentine's Day dinner experience in 2023. It was off for two years. They put it on pause, uh, and now they are coming back. Just want everyone to know who has a maybe shitty diet, as Cameron drinks his big gulp, uh, that you can go get your love on at White Castle. I, I know you love a tiny little hamburger, Mark. I've never eaten at White Castle. I haven't either. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to give an update on this guy, this in this um, lawsuit that this woman was suing Geico because she caught an STD while having sex inside a car that was insured by Geico. Um, the I don't think that's how that works. Well, I mean, you can sue for really anything. As we've seen this past year, the woman suing Velveeta because it didn't melt in time. Okay, and but such if you have as home insurance, homeowners insurance, or renters insurance, and you get you get fingered too bad and you cut your cooter, I don't think that's covered. 
Well, Geico did not accept the settlement offer saying the car was not in its typical use when she contracted HBV. So, TMI. Well, anyway, it just makes me think of all the times I've been in a car with someone and what might have happened. And maybe I missed out on some, like, you know, what are the class action? <laughs> you got some money for that chlamydia. Ass clap. Laugh. <laughs> That's good. Where are you reading these from? I don't even have any of these. So continue. And, and oh, me. I did my own research before. Um, That's fine. Are Keep you going to read Prince Harry's book, Spare? Okay, here's the thing about Prince Harry. I actually did watch the Meghan and Harry thing, even though I'm not really into the royals. And I'm in love with him. He's so funny. He's so kind. He's so brave. And he's willing to give it up. Give all of it up to do what's what's right. So I'm 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 looking to get in some some Prince Harry. I think forget about Meghan Markle, Markle McNamara. That's fine. You, you can call me that. We can go at it. I think he's so cute, so hot, and from his memoir, he's circumcised. So it doesn't matter to me either way. But I'm glad he shared that. And it was frostbitten at one point. No, that's not what happened. It did get frostbitten. It was not frostbitten. Bitch, have you not been paying attention to the news? He was in Antarctica, and then he went to Kate and whatever the little the other little queen's name is, Harry, uh, William, William and Kate's wedding with a frostbitten dick, bitch. And they had to like really? defrost that fucker, and then they put Elizabeth Arden cream on it, which is what his mom used on his face. His mom being Princess Di. Wait, he died. really got a frostbit dick? Frostbit and dick. You should have put that in the swords when you're playing around in the snow. Anyway, we only have two minutes left. Let's go through the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip season forecast okay. revealed. I know you have opinions on this. I cannot wait to hear Bring them. it. <laughs> so a few people are returning from uh, the ex-wives version of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, which took place at Dorinda's house last time. Those people being Vicky, Phaedra, Eva, and Brandy. So adding to that list this time, Camille, Gretchen. Alex McCord and Caroline Manzo. I'm excited. They're going to film in Marrakesh. So, bitch, Marrakesh me outside. How about that? I'm excited mm. for the fights. I know that Brandy called uh, Camille a dumb, useless twat. Dumb, useless twat. Uh, so, I'm twat. excited for them to uh, maybe. That's usually flesh Cameron's out some name of their for Twitter me. wars. Dumb, useless twat. Dut. Yeah. D U T. I'm excited. I like the four that they brought back. I'm not sure if we needed four people to bring back, but they got they brought back three. I like I love Eva, love Phaedra, love Brandy. Vicky. You know? I love Vicky. I want to see Vicky Great. fucking on a two hump campel. Camel. Campbell. 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 Uh yeah. Wanna talk I'm about Jen watch. Jen Shaw? Fuck Jen Shaw. Fuck that bitch. I'm just kidding. Fuck we Jen have <laughs> compassion for all human beings, even if they're trash. Um, one more thing, and then we'll wrap this up. Do you have thoughts but on the wait. real? What? I just think that, like, so they said that they're going to possibly put Real Housewives on a pause. Jen's not going to get out of jail until the fall of 2028, and she has to report to prison on February 17th. Uh, that's a long time. I, I'm, I'm not here to wait for it. Um, I just think their casting is really bad right now. Angie K is like the grossest person to ever be on Housewives. And so they, Salt Lake City needs some help. What I, I think, I don't know. When people are like, oh my God, what are they going to do without Jen? It's like, it's a fucking TV show. I think you guys are going to be fine. They don't need Jen. And they you know what I mean? I cast. think they'll figure out. You guys, I think you'll survive. It's just a TV yeah. show. It's just She's TV going show. to jail. Sort your life out. Um, I am seeing a finger from Cameron, which would mean that we should wrap up this segment. We will be right back. Okay. With Hannah from Below Deck and <laughs> Sean Xavier. We'll be right back. Unpacking it. Oh, I missed the countdown. Wow. Welcome back to Discretion Advise. I'm John Hill, still here with Mark McNamara. Welcome to the show, Hannah from Below Deck Med and Sean Xavier. Hi, guys. Hi. Glad to be here. I am a big fan of Below Deck, Below Dick, so I'm excited to have you both on together. Are you starstruck by Hannah? How bad I am is starstruck. It? I... Okay, so my dad's a fisherman, so my fantasy is always like just give up directing porn and just go work on yachts. How did you get started in this? You know what? There's there's a lot of similarities, so you'll be fine. <laughs> lots <laughs> lots of, of fluffing. <laughs> lots of fluffing, lots of assholes, lots of stuff you don't really want to see, lots of things you don't want to tell your children about. So, um, <laughs> no, 
so it's um so I obviously did like yachting without the cameras for six years before I started on Below Deck, um, and it's it all started with a trip to Europe, and I just fell in love with the south of France, which is pretty easy to do. And I was uh, in corporate and I just came back and like put into Google, like, what can you do speaking English in South of France? And yachting came up. So I was like, everyone thought I was completely insane. They're like, you want to give up your like cushy corporate job and your BMW convertible to like clean toilets? So I was like, yeah, why not? I'm, I'm young. So <laughs> may as okay, well. So I'm going to have to, okay. I had to go to the South of France and Google. I understood that part. They have I'll porn in done. France. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I filmed it in France. I just filmed in Paris. Um, Hannah, did you see Triangle of Sadness? Did you have any thoughts on that movie? No. Oh my gosh, you have to. It's about a private yacht crew and like it goes into like a total nightmare. I feel like it's it's it'll be cathartic for you. Yeah, you should definitely see it. Okay. I'll just sit there eating popcorn, going like, uh, honey, that hospital corner is not up to standard. Yeah, Wait, you'll love it. So it's it's good, John. I started wa- like I started watching it on the flight, and it was so bad I almost walked out of the it flight. Was, like, the flight? Like, yeah, oh, of the flight. You of the flight. jumped Opened out of the, the plane. And- yeah, <laughs> like, I, I said what I meant. <laughs> I'm glad you I stopped <laughs> it because don't watch that movie on a flight. Definitely, it's about okay. like a you know it's a boat, but it, it's about like travel gone into the worst possible nightmare disaster you could possibly ever imagine. So watch it when you're back home, but it changes like halfway through. It turns into a different kind of movie. Definitely watch it. I think you. You will be grossed out, but you'll be entertained. Triangle um, of sadness. Triangle of sadness. But speaking of being grossed out but entertained, Sean, I read a little fact about you that you can self-suck. How how did you figure out you could do this? Because I would like to know for <laughs> think, the weekend, the weekend ahead. <laughs> right. No, I think that every young man, when they find something between their legs, they want to put it into their mouth. I just happen to bend over and uh, mine fit. <laughs> And you can still do it? I don't, like you can just have a good time by I, yourself? About a year and a half ago, I started my journey in splits training uh, because I want to be Manuel Sky when I grow up, who is an acrobatic performer uh, and uh, sex performer. And so I can do the splits uh, now, and that flexibility allows me to bend over backwards and uh, put my uh, thing between my legs and between my mouth. Okay, offline, I'm going to need like a self tutorial. <laughs> gob, gob is a is all like it, key word there. But all, I'm it, need a tutorial. all it takes, all, all it takes is deep breathing, deep concentration, focusing on what's right in front of you, opening your mouth wide, and letting it down. A 10 inch you know, dick doesn't issues. hurt either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a. <laughs> I'm 0 for 10 of those uh, things. I can't, I, I have a torn meniscus. I'm not going to be sucking anything, let alone that. Don't, don't take that as a warning. <laughs> and wait, Hannah, I'm just yeah. going to, uh, speaking of warning, you warned Faye from Below Deck Adventure that Below Deck is worse than you'll ever imagine. What do you mean by that? Well, we'll rewind because I I never spoke to Faye ever. That was not true. Ooh, Cameron put that in the notes. So, no, I like, I, because like I have like a Google alert um, on my name. And so I woke up one morning and there was a Google alert with this interview that she'd done saying I'd wander off the show. And I was like, I messaged her on Instagram and I was like, hey, as you can see, like this is the first time we've chatted. So, wow. like, what's up? And, um, <gasps> And then she she was like, no, we spoke in June. And I'm like, well, what account? Like, what are you talking about? Because, you know, you can see this is the first time we've spoken. And then she was like, oh, I must have been speaking to a fake account. Uh, a finster. And then, yeah. And then she, I was like, can you just maybe like put something out there? Because I'm getting bombarded and I don't want to call you a liar. So it's like better if you say yeah. something's happened. And so she did put like an, like, a Instagram post up with like two photos of us, but she was like, this is two badass women doing what we do and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I don't need you to didn't... be like propped up. Just oh. say <laughs> I'd never spoken to Hannah and she didn't say that. That's all. So that was a good odd. You heard it here first. Faye is a liar. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. know what? To be honest, huh. I have not watched <laughs> Blow Deck Adventure past the first two episodes because I just didn't vibe with her or the whole situation. So mm. this kind of tracks. Well, it's also a different production company. 
that I think a lot of people are uh. not understanding. So like all of the other Below Decks have been produced by the one production company and it's a very difficult show to produce, especially in the field. So I don't, I think that they kind of thought it would be easy and they'll just follow the same format. But, you know, there's some genius minds behind Below Deck and, you know, it's it's not as easy as it looks. So I, I, I think I tweeted the other day, I'm like, is anyone into this? Because I kind of, um, you know, I'm doing my online shopping while I'm watching. It's just not that interesting. It's, yeah, it's, Ouch, something's missing. Ouch. The formula's yeah. off. And I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, even okay. like the, one of the latest episodes, they had a day off and they like went ziplining and went back to the boat. I'm like, I remember what the days off used to be like when oh, I was filming. And we're it's getting like, drunk. <laughs> yeah, you need to get a lot out of that because it's, you know, it's a full day of not filming on the boat. Like you need to get content out of it. So. Damn. Okay. Let me ask both you, since this episode is about what you're packing, what is in your essential carry on travel bag? What are items you can't travel without? Well, obviously Valium. <laughs> Bitch, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> you got your weed pen too? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gal. <laughs> um, I think like personally for myself, it's all about, um, especially because I used to travel a lot back and forth to LA and it was all about skincare. So it was like you get so dehydrated on the plane. So I need like my whole skincare line. With me what is like the that. skincare regimen? I mean, the skin is glowing. You look so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I just think I, I'm i really not like, a, oh, it's all natural. I'm like, give me all the chemicals. Give me like whatever you need <laughs> to put into my face to keep youth and glow. So, Sean um, loves yeah. a facial as well. Sean gets 10 facials a day. Sometimes they're from himself. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely, absolutely. On on the skincare, I'm right there with you. But for me, it's Abilene, 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 Abilene. Uh, Abilene, if you don't know, is what uh, 50 year old housewives used to use to take their makeup off. But it's a wonderful full body moisturizer, and it always leaves you just a little glistening. Uh, and I also like to support this uh, black owned business named Butter. Uh, Butter is uh, a facial skincare routine that uh, is good for skin a little bit more melanin. Uh, my sister turned me on to it, and uh, it just keeps my uh, wrinkles away and uh, keeps me glowing. Oh, see, I'm a drunk have, elephant. You know, have you guys <laughs> used that, drunk elephant? No. No. I haven't heard of it. Mm. Oh, Cameron has. Cameron, do you want to say how you've used this product and what it is? Mm-hmm. To keep your mm-hmm. anus fresh. <laughs> no. <laughs> drunk elephant. Okay, okay is it a moisturizer? <laughs> Yeah. It's everything. It's like they have this one product, like a serum that you use at night that you wake up glowing. They've got an overnight night mask, day creams, night creams, sun creams, tanning creams. Like it's the whole line and it's amazing. I think they want to sponsor our podcast. Okay. Make a note. <laughs> make a note. Make a note. All right. Say now we have our bags packed. We're going on a trip. Who you packing? Sean, Bad Bunny or Drake? Uh, Drake. Hannah, below decks, Bobby, Conrad, or Chef Adam? Um, Today, probably Adam, because, like, I want someone to cook for me, you know? <laughs> okay, makes sense. Sean, Zane or Harry Styles? Harry Styles. Hate you. Hannah, <laughs> Bugsy, Malia, or Mila? Oh, God. No, it's not Sink a great the boat. Question. Just sink the boat. <laughs> sink it. Can I have the Naughty Bunny question instead of that one? Yes. Okay, we're kicking them all three out. We're going with Bad Bunny. All right, Sean, me or John? Oh, man. Is this like fuck, kill, or marry? Uh, be- <laughs> Because if, nope. it, because if it were, if it, <laughs> no, it's not. Ah, oh, God. Okay, Mark, I'm going to go with you just so that we can make some content. But uh, yeah, John, I want you in the bed. So. Fine, Sean, but you're by. I have a camera as well, but but go ahead. <laughs> Loyalty. You're loyal. It's good. We, don't really know, we only know each other through a small, slight Zoom last week. So. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, I Hannah. don't know if you know my angle. And we met on Fire Island. You didn't even remember that oh, we met on, right. on the met roof on Fire Island in of person. the ferry of Fire Island. You didn't even remember me. 
Yeah. It's fine. Wow. I had my tits out that day. Multiple, I'm close. I've you multiple times. I forget you every time. And that's just because I just haven't had you inside me yet. So. Good feeling. Oh, oh well, well. Let's fix that. Yeah. Let's well, fix not. That. <laughs> All right. Hannah, last one. <laughs> Captain Sandy, Lee, Jason, or Glenn? Uh, I'll take Lee and Jason. Oh. Okay. Good choices. Mm. Good choices. Let's not take Sandy. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'll say it. I like Malia Sandy. Malia and Sandy. No, I don't. Sorry. Malia and Sandy, Cameron, can you drop I do John not from like. The call, please? <laughs> 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 Somebody John. has to Been say something positive. <laughs> okay, wait. Since Can I ask some more? Since I'm, I'm a Below Deck fan, I want to play sink or swim. Hannah, tell me if these other chief stews, are you going to sink or swim them? Kate Chastain, sink or swim. Swim. Natasha Webb, the last... Chief Stew from Below Deck, who didn't even show up to the fucking reunion. I know, I know. I don't watch Med, so I can't say. Good, you're smart. Aisha Scott. Definitely spam all the way. Oh my God, I love her. You, Kate, and Aisha are my top three of all time. I like Daisy too, actually. So Daisy. <laughs> Definitely swim. Last one, Katie. Katie Flood, Below Deck, Mad, season six. So I didn't watch the Med, but I like Katie, so I'll swim with her too. Okay, sweet. Sean, you have a very big dick. <laughs> Moving on. Noted. No, okay, so I'm going to ask John and Hannah if you're game to play, play as well. I'm going to name some objects, and you have to tell me whether they're bigger or smaller than Sean's dick. <laughs> Bring Are it you on. Ready? A legal sized envelope. Who's bigger, envelope or Sean? Sean. <laughs> John's like, John can play for me. Okay, perfect. Um, Sean's bigger. <laughs> yeah, I have an envelope right here, and this is eight inches. Smaller, smaller. <laughs> iPhone 14 Pro Max. Also have one right here. Sean's bigger than it. Sean is bigger than it. A standard-sized hammer. <laughs> a hammer is bigger than Sean. A hammer is bigger. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> a Keurig. Do you think a Keurig is bigger? <laughs> <laughs> A Keurig is bigger than Sean. A K-cup or the machine? The machine itself. Uh, Yeah, it's probably bigger than Sean's dick, yeah. Just by two inches, it's bigger. Mm. Um, A basketball. Uh, uh, What's the tip? The length of it. Oh, the length of it. I was going to say, I hope that that's not okay. The diameter, (laughs) not the circumference. (laughs) You know I don't do well with math. I would say the basketball is bigger than Sean. And the basketball is not bigger than Sean. And I'll oh, leave okay. it at that. <laughs> hmm. I didn't see it in that. person. <laughs> okay. Should we play our other know. game? I'm going to leave this game. next Let's game. Do it. Do it. Yes. The official game called Who's Packing. We're going to play a round of this game where I'm going to give you two options. You just have to tell me who's packing more. Um, okay. The question is, who's packing the bigger net worth? Beyonce or Jay-Z? Hannah, what do you think? Jay-Z. Um, Mark, what's your answer? I think Jay Z too, because he has all those—the clothing line, the record company. Jay Z. Sean, Lika. what do you think? We're gonna be very Beyonce. Okay, the answer is Jay with 1.4 billion. Beyonce, 500 million. million. Oh, um, Cameron, I hope you're keeping wow. score because I don't know how to do two things at once. <laughs> all right, the next question: Who's packing more gr- uh, Grammy wins, Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift? Uh, Hannah, answer. I'm going to go with Swifty. Okay, Sean. Taylor Swift. And Mark, answer. Yeah, I think it is Swifty. The Academy likes her. Y'all, Lady Gaga has more, 13. Uh-huh. And Taylor has 11. Oh, really? Wow. Really? Oh, Maybe she'll get some more. Go Gaga. Midnight. Okay, I'll mix up the order this time. Who's packing more land? Australia or Alaska? Mark, what's your answer? Australia. Uh, Sean, what's bigger? Packing more land. Australia. Australia or Alaska. Okay. And really the Aussie herself, right. Hannah. I'm going Australia, yeah. You're all correct. 423% larger than Alaska. Listen, I didn't. I don't <laughs> so know. <Okay>. close. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> By a hair. What's bigger, Florida or the earth? <laughs> D- direct all complaints to Cam. Uh, who's packing more storage, a megabyte or a gigabyte? Sean, you first. A gigabyte. Mark? 
gigabyte. And Hannah? Megabyte. Uh, one gigabyte comprises 1024 megabytes. So uh, gigs for the win. I don't really know Gig how to timing. turn my laptop on, so I'm not mad at that. <laughs> no. Well, Mark can't plug his microphone in properly. Who's nope. packing more episodes, Atlanta or OC in terms of the Housewives? Who's packing more episodes? Which has done more episodes, Atlanta or OC? Mark, what's your answer? The OC, because it's got like two seasons ahead of Atlanta. Okay, Sean, what's your answer? Yeah, uh, I was going to go the same, but I'm looking at Hannah's face and I'm missing her reality television knowledge. I'm going to go with Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta uh, and Hannah? So I don't actually know this, but I do know the ladies from Atlanta bring it in a big way. So I know that they always have long seasons. So I'm going to go Atlanta as well, despite the fact that OC has more seasons. You're correct. 305 episodes versus Ooh. OC's 289. Well, you know what? Atlanta Amazing. Brings the quality. Yes, they do. Um, okay, who's packing more number one songs in the Billboard Hot 100? Madonna or Michael Jackson? This is a very Mark centric question. Let's hope you get it right. What's your answer? <sighs> if it's not Michael, we can just end this podcast right here, season two, episode four. Sean? Michael. And what do you think, Hannah? I'll go Michael. Uh, you know, I'll go Madonna. Oh, you were so close. It is, it is Michael with 13. Yeah. Madonna has oh 12. God. It's about to be in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> Although Madonna might catch up. You know, she's uh, still alive. No, I don't think so. Still alive. Does Michael a has a better chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> Who's backing more any wins? The Simpsons <laughs> or Saturday Night Live? Uh, Hannah, what do you think? Saturday Night Live or Simpsons? Which has more Emmys? Um, Simpsons. Mark? That's tough because comedy and sketch, com- or cart- I don't know, SNL. And Sean, what do you think? I also think SNL, but I want it to be The Simpsons. You're correct. It's SNL. Um, okay, last two really quick. Uh, who's packing the biggest American box office in 2022? Top Gun Maverick or Avatar Way of Water? My, uh, Mark, what do you think? Uh, so far, probably Top Gun. Sean? I think Avatar just overtook Top Gun, like, within the past two days. Uh, Isn't it in Hannah? 2022? And, oh. It's in 2022. Yeah. Oh, so Top, Gun. Top, Top, Top Gun. Come on, a two-day paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it is Top Gun. $718 million domestically. Avatar only has 401, but it's still climbing steadily. Loser. Last one for... What's the current score, been... Cam? Um, Who's winning? Right now, we got Mark and Sean tied, and Hannah is one point behind them. Okay, let's hope we can tie it up. Oh, Who's packing more, more Instagram followers? Kim, K, or Kylie Jenner? Uh, Hannah, what do you think? Kylie. Sean, what do you think? Uh, Kylie. Mark? I do think it's Kylie as well. It is Kylie 377 versus Kim at 340 million. Congrats, everyone. Great job. Sean, Great go celebrate job. by sucking Woo. your own dick. Okay, before we wrap things up, <laughs> Hannah, have you ever had a conversation with Sandy since she tr- like snaked you? <laughs> I'm sorry she no. did. She, she was no. shady as fuck. Yeah, no. She she messaged me when I was pregnant and asked for an address to like send something to the baby. And I'm like, no, go. We're good. We're fine. Oh, my God. That's my girl. Bless you. Love you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Don't give in to the evil. Nah. All right, Hannah, where can also, people follow you? Also, she'd probably not send a gift and just send something really bad to my house. I'm like, I don't want you to know where I live. Yeah. Be smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys can find me at Hannah Ferrier 234 on Instagram, Hannah Ferrier underscore at Twitter. And yeah, that's it. Perfect. Sean, where can people find you? SeanXavier.com. Take you to all the places that you want to go. And on the do- top deck of the ferry- Fire Island. We'll see you there next summer. <laughs> we'll be right back. Happily. And we're going to be playing a game of Never Have I Ever, led by the one and only Cameron. <gasps> Cam. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. As you know, we are talking about who's packing what and who, yeah, all people are packing all sorts of things. Mark and I, as a podcast duo, are packing a producer named Cameron, and we would like to unsh- 
unsheathe him, reveal him to you, as uh, we like to do from time mm. to time. He doesn't like it. We don't care. Cameron, welcome to the podcast. Uh, you just exited as a producer and returned as a guest. That's a weird thing. You could have just done it, but I guess that was per your therapist. You Got to compartmentalize. It's, he's huh? method. Yeah, he's uh, method. Hi, and Cameron, you know what? Remember talk- that day we were talking about his real his name? Let's get loud, Jennifer Lopez <laughs> sheep T-shirt. He's wearing it today, Mama. Yes, J Lo. And Hi, again, Cameron. people aren't going to see it because I'm not including my video on this. So <sighs> I never include <sighs> my video when you guys have me on the podcast. Cameron, we like you. Fuck people off. love I mean, you. Like, get the fuck over yourself. Go suck your own cock, like Sean star, Xavier. Babes. Yes. I wish I could. Okay, let's play a little game of Never Have I Ever. Um. Oh, is it never have I ever? Is that what we're doing? Oops. Yes. I Whatever you want to do. Rather. Oh, let's do. Would okay. you rather? That's fine. That that's fine. That's fine. That's what fine. I would up. you rather? You're the producer. All right. Would you um, rather play? Would you rather? Yes. Uh, would you rather date a porn star or be one? Fuck porn star or be one. Porn star or be one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, be one. We know my history, mine's, so mine's be one. <laughs> let's say date one. <laughs> um, give or receive oral. Receive. Receive. Well. Receive head, suck a butt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Clarify. Nice clarification. Mm-hmm. Mine's just receive. But I would like to eat butt it's too. Everything. Front back. Yeah. Can we 69 butt eat, John? You and me? Yeah. Not with the diet you are currently on. You eat <sighs> empanada. How do you know what I mean? You eating? eat empanada mama every night. I did have empanada mama last night, but that was Diego's fault because he ordered it once we got right, home. I, and I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to let you sit on my face after 10 empanadas. Well. Oh, wait. Can I say earlier <laughs> when I was looking down and you were being mean to me during the intro, it was because I was looking up. They don't. Drag Race isn't on Paramount Plus. The new well, season. Now that I've opened That's what the I was chat. Looking up. I, I was trying to fact check you. I know. I appreciate that. What I, I should have clarified. I'm catching up on Paramount I Plus. That part. But, was I here? But you can watch the. Wait, how do you watch the live one? MTV. MTV. My boyfriend's a football gay, so I just watch through the cable that he buys football for. Well, then I guess I'll just continue with a football cable. gay. Continue with my brand yeah, of not watching Drag Race. Okay, You've met him like multiple. Cameron's times. Cameron's boyfriend looks identical to him. They're boyfriend twins. He, yes, he's a brother fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Next yep. one. Would you rather have a massage on your glands or your testicles? I don't know what that means. What? What's a gland? Glands or your testicles? I don't want my testicles massaged. They're very sensitive. Oh. Like, I, yeah. When people say like, "Hey, stop being a pussy," I think we should change that to like, "Stop being balls," because balls are way more sensitive than pussy. A pussy can take a pounding. Balls are sensitive, so we got to change that if narrative. If anybody like, don't be a pussy, even don't be balls. my balls so can take a pounding, <sighs> they can. Not mine. Your balls can take a pounding, Cameron? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean like a pounding? What is your like boyfriend doing to I'm your balls? He's punching them, and I'm not feeling Really? It. Punch them harder, yeah. Mm. Mm. He's going to love that. Do you got big balls, story. or they're tiny little chiclets? Does he punch them during sex? You know what? Can we see if, them? If the mood calls for it, no. <laughs> we're on YouTube, no. Okay. If anybody even... Next time we're in person, we're going to take a look at Cameron's balls, and we're each going to punch one. I would do that. I'd kick them. Yeah. Next discretion advised live. Uh, I I hate my balls being touched. Don't touch them. Don't look at them. They're really. No. I, they're so sensitive. You have nice balls. Well, I know, but like I don't. They're very, were John's they're balls included? Were John's balls included in the nudes he sent you? Yes. Uh, uh, some of them, maybe. yeah. Mine, mine don't. No, there's definitely one where you can see full ball. I don't lead with ball. I'm, I'm more of. They hide. They kind of hide behind. No, they're definitely they're they're followers. They hide behind the but, main event. They're like the backup singers yeah. to Tina Turner. Mm-hmm. They're the Bette yeah. Midler Harlots. They're the Dream Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, what? We're the Stream Girls. Sorry, go ahead. Um, would you rather My be ex. a sugar daddy or have one? Have one. Actually, n- neither. Yeah. Pass. Don't want to do or give. Mm-mm. Um. Nope. Do 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 do. I uh, prefer to be dominated or to dominate. We both dominate. Yeah. Neither of us are, are able to be vulnerable and be dominated. That's right. We just can't. We don't got it in us. Okay. Now switch over to never have I ever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> never have I ever wanna, been dominated. Um... <laughs> 
All right, I'm just going to click Look the first it, thing that pops is, up with never have I ever This is the research and development gay. we do. It's happening as we mm -hmm. record. Yeah. You're welcome. You know what? All the results Fine. You know what? are I'm, just let me for ask a some show you guys. called Never Have I Ever. Okay. Great. I'm asking you and you and John now, Cameron. Never have I ever been peed on. Okay, John's Nerd. drinking. John's been peed on. Never have I ever fisted or been fisted. I wish. John's drinking again. <laughs> Never have I ever had sex at my family's house. John is drinking again while they were there. John is going to be drunk. All right, that's it. John is like, water. We're going to be right back with P Man, and he's going to give us a wrap up of the Gavians. Thank you so much, John, for that send off. We'll be right back. Cunt. Welcome back to the show. Oh my God, drum roll, please. We are joined by someone very special. I think probably the next inductee into the Gavian. Oh my fucking God, someone is trying to FaceTime me. Edit that out. So the next inductee to the Gavian Hall of Fame, I think, P-Man, the one and only P-Man. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, 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 yep. Here I am, here I am on the mic with you guys. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm here with Mark and John and Cameron. I'm excited. Where are you, P-Man? Thank you, guys. I'm at a secret location. A bunker. Uh, I'm bunker. at the Swartz security office. <laughs> I'm Come on, Swartz. I'm at the agent. I'm agent 69. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Was this your first ever Gavians, P-Man? Uh, no, I was at the one last year when I was nominated for social personality, but we had it virtual. Ah, uh, okay. Year, okay, I, so this is your first in-person. How'd it yes, go? Can yes. you give us a little wrap up of it? Oh, I thought it was great from the introduction from the beginning when they had announced so many stars. I was like, unbelievable, but because I get chat to see them in person. Some I saw in person already, but some I never met only on Twitter. So it was wonderful. I got a chance to meet and greet, talk, network. Oh, it was wonderful, Mark. Wonderful experience. Any awkward in interactions? Anyone, you know, like don't meet your heroes type of situation? Like any anything awkward? Or what was the high? What was the low? Oh, I I, I have to admit, it, it wasn't all lows. Everything was highs because mostly everyone I knew already. So when I went into the um, AV, they gave me an expo. Everybody knew everybody knew who I was already. So it was it was that part was fantastic because I interact with everyone. Some of them, well, some of them are my friends, so I, I I interact more with them off Twitter. So when I saw them in person, it was just like talking to anybody. So we talked some shit, you know, <laughs> I talked about other stuff. It was wonderful. So it was no excitement. Everybody, I mean, it was excitement. Everybody knew who I was, and and I knew where everyone else was. That was the good part. That was the part that got me. I was like, these people know my name. <laughs> Right. You know, now, how did you get know. started in doing this, P-Man? Because you kind of have shot into like this stratosphere of like the go-to person that is promoting and talking about gay porn. So how had this come to be for you? Oh, it, I started fourteen, no, no, thirteen years ago when I got on Twitter. First time, it, 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 first time it was a regular Twitter account. But then I met Roman Todd before Twitter on Randy Blue. We met, then we became friends, and then when he got on Twitter. Something happened to his Twitter, and his first one got messed up, so he so we had to start over. So I started, so well, let me get him to 10,000K followers, because that's what he wanted, you know, to get to 10,000K followers. So I got together with some of his followers, and I sent him a message. I said, well, Roman's a good guy. He's, he's a good performer. Let's try to, to get to get him to 10K. So it started from there, and then it's got a network after a while. We network, basically, it was network. So I got everybody on board, and we got, got him to 10,000K. Then started from there, and then I started promoting not just him, but others, others in in his genre in the scenes, and that's how I met you, Mark. <laughs> I started doing men.com, and I said, and I tagged you. <laughs> then I oh, started yeah. talking to oh, you. Yeah. I started network networking with you, and then with some other people that we know, <laughs> and it started from there. Then it just started to speed roll. More and more people started to know who I was, and they liked my work that, because I did positivity, love. I, I don't do negativity or drama. That makes you old fast, you know? All right, so P-Man, who is your favorite porn star to watch? Who are you excited when their scenes or their movies come out? Oh, Mark, why you want to put me in a... You, wanna put, uh, uh, I have to you love them all. Yes, I have to say everyone. I have to be a judge, but I do generally. I love them all. I love them all. They gotta have that 
special quality that knack you know that personality that's the key right there personality you could have the biggest cock and ass in the world but if you got a personality of a peanut you're gonna get shit <laughs> let's be real that's what I tell everyone. They always come for advice like, how can I make this a career? How can I be bigger? And I tell them it has nothing to do with your body or your dick size. It has to do with your personality. Be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone else because we're going to see through that real quick. Be yourself. Bring your personality. And that's what's going to be your staying power. Yes, because, you know, there's something that's been in it for years. And I've been watching. Well, I've been a connoisseur of porn since my age is showing since, 19, since nine, late 1990s, early 2000s, because they had a lot. Believe it or not, though, they had a lot of those expos in New York back in the early 2000s, like Webster Hall, those adult, adult expos. You might remember, Mark, you might remember, but because I went a I'm lot only of those 14. and I met with, hmm? you were what? Hmm. Nothing. I didn't. Oh, what about you saying something now? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Are you excited about the Swords first mission coming out Wednesday? January 18th. Yes, 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 I am. I I posted about it already. I posted about it. Oh, you might, Mark, you know I was, I was going to be on it. You I are posted on about it. the first one. Oh, you're kidding me. I was on it when I did that interview with Fleshbot. The first thing I said was Naked Sword. But that thing was hot, 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 hot. I saw the first scene with Max and Tony, Andre Roman. Oh, that was hot. Every scene was hot. I <laughs> cannot I, wait for you to rare, see. That's rare. <laughs> It was. It was so good. And I'm so excited for you to see First Mission because I think it might be even better than the first one. I love this one so much. So I'm so excited for you to watch it. Oh, you know I'm going to be on it. I'm already on Naked Sweat as it is. <laughs> All right, P-Man, where can people find you and follow you? At P-Man 43. I take everyone. Everyone is available. Everyone can come on board and check out P-Man 43 at his best. Ah, We love you. Thank you so much. And thank you, I love everyone, you guys for too. Don't forget to you can watch the full podcast on YouTube and subscribe to our newsletter over at discadpod.com and make sure and you're don't following forget to look us. up for Naked Swords. Don't forget to make <laughs> Naked Swords coming and follow us on all 118, the 118, 118, directed by Mark McNamara. You got it. You absolutely got it. <laughs>